the issue is that the actual API provided by CF is for what we used for the docs, not mm -hmm. for the sources. Sources are another code pass. Mm -hmm. Uh, we used IPS that are related to X11 and XORG. So we use the X window handle and we insert it into a Q widget. Mm -hmm. And so when you forced it to work on Wayland, on the Wayland back and since it X11 handle inside the Win Wayland window, what do you want to happen? Nothing. So if you have nice transparent windows. Right. Right. And so you for you need to create the wall plumbering for Wayland stuff to be done on CF to allow to access Wayland descenders and surfaces. Mm -hmm. And you need to in more you need the Wayland compositor to have the Oh god, I always forgot the name of the protocol, wait check. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, wait check. XDG for rain protocol. To be able to import and export uh, Wayland handles. Right, right, right. And you need so many stars aligned, and you need someone who wants to maintain and upstream the CEF plumbering for Wayland. Mm -hmm. Even Steam is still using X Wayland. Yep. The, the whole application is inside the CEF. <laughs> so. Well, Steam's another application that has a um, a sandboxing issue because they have they they run their games in a little sandbox as well. So if you're launching the flat pack, there's like that that whole issue as well. And I think that's part of the reason. Yeah. Um, at least that's their like, original reason for not wanting to officially support the flat pack. I don't know like now if they could properly do workarounds with that. Um, uh, the the issue is that there is so many holes to keep. As it is. Right. And when you're doing a flat pack, you're sort of trying to remove those holes mm -hmm. as far when you progress toward that. Mm -hmm. And actually, the main issue, for example, one of the issue you can have with Steam is that when you're doing um, uh, remote play to remote play with mm -hmm. your Steam Link or another computer, you will have the XDG portal popping up mm -hmm. and you need to change room to pick the right screen and stuff like that. I don't know if it has changed since then, but you have stuff like that happening. Mm -hmm. So Steam may need to change some paradigm. I'm not up to date on the situation because mm -hmm. I I'm I'm don't use multiple computers. Right. Only my main one. So I play on only one computer. But yeah Wayland support is is a long journey. And I think the CF will be the longest one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just opened up the um, the issue for the transparent browser docs. And I'm guessing right now it's basically just something needs to be done in upstream CEF before anything can really be done in the OBS yeah. project. Yeah, it's AR. I can talk about it since it's in public conversation. There okay. is someone that j arrived in the Discord and just dive into the CF code and current code to make up uh, off screen sharing works with the newest um, renderer inside of Chrome. Because at because we were using all CF build because we were relying on Viz V I Z. I think it was the name of the renderer. And now we need to rely on Skia. Mm -hmm. And so this is why we all stuck on, I don't remember the number of Chromium, but uh, it's hard already. And the guy literally upstream patched to Chromium. And so now there is a PR for CF to add off-screen off off -screen rendering for Windows and Mac OS. Linux is not far beyond. Because someone's working parallel with him to make it happen too. Because Linux is the only one of the three to not have the browser acceleration. Right. right. But people say Linux is behind. When we talk about Chromium and CF, you need someone who wants to do it. Mm -hmm. It's not everybody's pleasure to dive into Chromium's code. 
<laughs> yeah, I certainly and wouldn't want to do that. And, and CF patches, because CF patch is Chromium. Mm -hmm. with, and also there is the... Google loves creating their own build systems. So you have to learn to use the GN build system. And also, you you need you need to compile Chromium and CF. You need to have a nice CPU with nice mini cores. <laughs> Unless you want to do some cloud rendering, that's also an option. Yeah. Oh, it's not a good idea for development. It's not, but hey, it's it's an yeah. option. Yeah, and the f and. Uh... Yeah, but now we are gl now we can now we might soon be able to upgrade CF in OBS. Mm -hmm. But it's might it's soon TM. It's <laughs> it's we, it, yeah people. So it's the most vocal ones, but people need to understand that we mm -hmm. can do things fast sometimes. Mm -hmm. It sounds like just it it sounds like a, a nightmare in some ways to to deal yeah. with everything going on with OBS because